What's going on there YouTube? Benny coming back at you again with one vape at a time. I've been fortunate enough to get my hands on another new device that we're going to check out today. We've got the Vupu Panda. Everybody's getting into the pod game, little stealth vapes, and why not Vupu? Um, I was actually fortunate enough to get my hands on this one. My wife was involved with a little giveaway tester type drawing here lately, and so she got one of these, and I figure... We got it, why not check it out? So, you know, it comes with all the standard stuff, warranty card, owner's manual, micro USB for charging. You are gonna get two of these little pods, which I've already got them out because I've been testing. I had to see how it works before I tell you guys whether it's any good or not. These are five milliliter pods. You get one with a 0.8 ohm coil that's gonna fire at just around 12 watts. I don't know how well you can see that with the glare. And that's gonna be sort of a restricted lung hit on that one. And then it comes with another one that is a 1.2 ohm pod. It says that one's gonna fire at around eight watts. So that's more of your mouth to lung, whether you're doing nick salts or a little bit higher milligram nicotine, you know, whichever your particular poison is, you know, it'll work for both of them. It does have a pretty decent mouth to lung draw. You can get this little guy right here. It is a 1100 milliamp hour battery in it. You know, nice and small. I'm trying to think of what I've got around here for comparison's sake. We'll just use something that everybody knows how big it is. Here you go, you got a 100 milliliter bottle of milk by the pound, and we got the Panda. If we line them up right side by side, I mean, that's a pretty little guy there. So, it's handy, it's perfect size for your pocket. A little bit, if you're familiar with the Joytech Penguin, it's gonna be a little smaller than that, a little bigger than a Zippo lighter. So nice and handy and nice and rounded so it fits in your pocket well. And to load this bad boy up, you've got this top right here that just comes off. It is, you hear that? It's got some pretty decent magnets in it that's gonna pop it all together. You get your fire button and obviously your drip tip there on the top. And it's pretty, pretty straightforward. We're gonna start off with the mouth to lung. This is the 1.2 ohm pod firing off at about eight watts. Just drop that in there, give it a little push down. It doesn't, one, I'm not crazy about this. There's no sort of magnets or anything that catches when you put the pod in. So it just kind of sits there. They could have done this differently. They're kind of relying on the, um, top cap itself to hold your pod in place, which I will say I had an issue one day switching from the direct lung pod to the mouth to lung pod. It wasn't registering, so I had to pop it apart, put it in, sort of give it a little wiggle and, you know, put it back down. So that's something they might want to think about going forward, you know, throw a magnet in the bottom there, put a small clip system, something to hold that pod in place where it needs to be to make a connection there at the bottom. And then Obviously, just like any device nowadays, you're going to do five clicks and you're going to see your light flashing. That was actually turning it off because I already had it on. We'll do five more clicks. Your little light there is going to let you know it's on. Your indicator light will be blue when you have some charge on your battery when it gets down to below a certain point, which... I'm not going to lie, I'm not honestly sure what voltage that is, but when you get to a certain point, your light's going to be red. You know, it's time for a charge. Pretty straightforward. Red means stop, right? So, let's see. We'll have a little toot on this. Like I say, we've got the mouth-to-lung coil in here right now. I got some of this Zalt Lemon Cake. I've been doing some different salts lately, and from what I've found so far, I can't speak to any of the other flavors, but that Zalt Lemon Cake has been my favorite. I've been vaping it out of all my pod systems. I know what it tastes like, so here we go. A little bit on the airy side for a mouth-to-lung pod, but it's nice. It's definitely really good flavor. You could probably even, depending on how you like to vape, you could maybe even consider it a really, really restrictive lung hit, but it's flavorful. I've got 
I don't know, about eight or ten different pod systems I'm playing around with for an upcoming video. And I will say that this one next to one that's become my favorite is probably about the best. There might be a little tie between this one and one other pod. But it vapes good. It tastes like lemon cake. You know, what else can you ask for? And see, nothing to hold that pod in. I'm sure you heard that was pod jumping out and hitting the table. Good thing I got a table right under me. Now we're going to go with the 0.8 ohm direct lung pod. Again, it just sort of sits in there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it pops back up on its own. I'm not, not crazy about that. And it's not even like it's a safety feature of some sort to keep it from firing in your pocket because when you put the top on, then it's going to work. So kind of, like I say, something for Vupu to think about maybe going forward. It'd be a real small redesign. Drop a magnet in the bottom of there or a little clipping device of some sort. Going with this strawberry milk by the pound in here because, again, I've been vaping a ton of it. The wife and I have both fallen in love with this one. I think we opened this bottle two days ago and it's already halfway gone so again I know what it tastes like I'll tell you what it's like out of here it's not a huge cloud device you know I mean it is a point oh, 0.8 ohm coil so it's not a super sub ohm by any mean got a nice draw on it you know sort of a as I say a restricted lung hit of sorts and the flavor you know both of the coils we've I've played around with them for a couple days now they both get really great flavor um, I wanted I didn't can't speak as to the life of the coils in them because I've only been using it for a couple days haven't been able to find anywhere to buy new pods yet so I didn't want to kill them before I made a video but you know they do work well it's nice you know if it's good here in the hand this drip tip's a little sort of awkward because if you can tell there, it's got kind of an oval shape to it. So, you know, straightforward, it's a little awkward. You kind of have to do a little sideways deal, kind of like this. And it's pretty comfortable that way. So, I mean, if you don't mind thumb firing, it's a little awkward otherwise, but for thumb firing, it's pretty handy. All in all, not a bad little pod system. You know, I had, the, like I said, I had the original Penguin. I loved it, but the flavor wasn't too great. And then they just started coming out with so many things that were smaller. So what can I say about this little guy here? I mean, for one, as my wife keeps pointing out to me, it's just so cute. It looks like a little one-eared panda, which might be a little twisted in some people's opinion. It's got a nice feel to it. I mean, it's all... All plastic, so it's lightweight. You can throw it in your pocket, have it with you all day, and that 1100 milliamp hours should last you all day, especially if it's not your only device that you're taking with you. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Everybody's got micro USB chargers everywhere you go, so if you do run the battery out, it's pretty easy to plug it in and you're ready to go. Um, does seem to be pretty quick charging. I haven't actually checked to see what the full charge time is on it yet, but it does does seem to pick up a charge pretty quick and last through most of the day. Um, it's pretty handy little sis. Another good thing about it, you know, it does have a nice clicky button on it. Um, so that's always a plus. This fill system, again, I do like this. It just... You got some little tracks right in here, you know, on each side. We got one here and then another one over here. You can see that magnet up there in the top. So basically you just get those tracks lined up and let it pull itself into place. So that's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Um, again, the pods just sort of drop in there as well, which as I've said a couple times now, they don't latch in there, which I really don't like. You know, you turn it upside down they fall right out it's not it's the one real con I found with this device is the way that those pods sit in there so all in all not a bad little device I mean we all know the reputation that Vupu's had as of late they've made some good things in the past and they've also made some stuff that in my opinion is kinda garbage so 
they did get it right with this one. Um, it's going to be available in quite a few different colors. Um, I've seen black and red, black and yellow. I think they have one that's sort of a reverse where you got black with the white stripe. There's a whole bunch of them. They're all over Instagram everywhere if you're really curious. Just type in Vupu Panda and I'm sure you probably find a couple hundred pictures even though I, it's still on pre-order everywhere I believe for a few more days. So all in all, it's a pretty good little device. It's perfect for someone that's on the go. You know, if you work and you just want something small in your pocket, that's why I love these little devices. You know, I work in a kitchen and sometimes having this thing in my pocket seems to weigh me down. So I can grab a little pod system, throw it in my pocket. And if I run to the walk-in cooler or something like that, have a little toot, good to go. These are very versatile little devices, so you know the good on this one definitely outweighs the bad if it's something you think you might be interested in um i'll drop a couple links for places i found where they have them on pre-order and you can check that out and the only thing i can tell you is it doesn't really matter what you're vaping on just stay calm keep moving along and take it one vape at a time got the boo poo panda for you